It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Salt Air Brewery Imperial IPA coming in at 9.5% ABV. This beer has been brewed with Simcoe and Galaxy Hops. A double IPA from Salt Air Brewery. Here's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. The beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsors today, Imperial Beer Club. Imperial Beer Club, if you check their website in the description box of this video, you get 10 beers for 42 pounds. And they're all Imperial strength. Here we go. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. And I gotta be honest, I'm really excited about this because um, it's a bit of a nostalgia trip for me. Salt Air Brewery. I remember drinking their Cascade and loving it. Back, I remember when it was, I, I had a massive bout of bird flu. I, th I think it was, bird, it was either a, a horrible strain of flu or bird flu. I had something for 10 days and I, I, I literally drugged myself to the eyeballs with paracetamol and cocodamol. I remember the, how bad this cold was. And back then, I was very new to the whole YouTube thing. I didn't have a backlog of videos. So people were like, where, where have you gone? What's happened? And it was just that I had this horrible, I'm sure it was bird flu, it couldn't have been anything else. It was dreadful, I had it for 10 days. And I remember watching Oz Clark and James May on BBC Two on a beer, it was a kind of a beer show. I can't remember the name of the show now. But I was watching that ill thinking, oh, and they were drinking Salt Air Cascade, just loving it on the television. And I was thinking, I got a bottle out there in the kitchen to review and I just can't get to it. I'm too ill to try it. I still remember that day. What was it 2017 now? So seven, six and a half years ago. Bonkers, bonkers. Um, but anyway, that's my nostalgia trip for Salt Air Brewery. And I remember loving that beer. Um, I've, I've had a few since, but not for about five years. I've not drunk any of the Salt Air beers for about five years. So thank you to Imperial Beer Club for sending me this one. One Finger Whitehead. Good levels of carbonation. It's a very clear beer. It's been filtered out completely. Uh, golden amber colour. Let's get the aroma. And this can be described from, from my point of view as a... It's a very hoppy aroma, but it's also a very malty aroma. So you're getting, you're getting balance in the aroma. Um, I suppose people who are, get, who are very much into craft beer and they drink a lot of cloud water, they drink a lot of verdant, uh, they drink a lot of these New England IPAs, they probably wouldn't appreci appreciate this aroma too much. But from experience, I'm just going to hold my thoughts, I'm going to hold my judgment on this because Sometimes in life, even with a good Imperial Strength IPA, you need a little bit of balance. So, yes, you get a lot of hops, grapefruit coming through in abundance, citrus, orange peel. But you also get a whack of, of malted barley as well in there. Biscuity, malty, fresh bread flavours. So, if it wasn't for the hops, it would be heading towards a barley wine. Let's dive in. Cheers. Ah, um, it's probably fresh. When was it bottled? It didn't go off until the 
20th of, or the first 2018. So it's got another seven months shelf life. So yeah, it is a fresh, fresh beer. Um, Simcoe and Galaxy Hops. It's not a Stone the Crows beer. It's not. Um, I tried to give the beer the benefit of the doubt in the aroma. I kind of knew what was coming, but I held out hope that we might have got something different. But this is more of, you get a little bit of the alcohol, which you get for a 9.5% ABV beer. It's a little bit unpleasant. It's very malty. It's very biscuity and malty, which For the, for the New World Double IPA, if you're going to brew a New World Double IPA, it, it's too malty. It's too malty. It's more of a... This is much more than a... Much more like, sorry, a hoppy barley wine than an Imperial IPA at 9.5% ABV. There's nothing wrong with the beer. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Nice biscuit malts, nice bready flavours, lots of sweetness. This is the problem, there's a lot of sweetness in there. And when you when that hop hits, you're not benefiting from the hops like you should do from an Imperial IPA or a double IPA, whatever you want to call them. So although there's probably a lot of hops in the beer, you're not benefiting like you should do. I think the malt for the for the double IPA on, on a personal level for me, uh, the malt should be just purely there uh, to produce sugar and then the sugar to produce alcohol um, for for a really good abundant juicy double IPA. If you if you add a lot of that malty flavour, you just kill it. You just kill that 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 hoppy flavour. So not a bad beer at all. But maybe salt air might might adjust their malt bill for for the the next future imperial IPA or or maybe adjust this one. Lots of caramel, lots of biscuit, lots of breadiness, and you. I'm gonna say it one more time, and and then you're gonna start getting bored of me. But yeah, it's just way way too malty. Um, it's a shame really because we started off with the excitement from, from Salt Air Brewery. Um, my, my fantastic experience with the Cascade IPA or the Cascade Pale Ale, I think it might be called. Um, but it, I suppose it just shows how your, your taste buds evolve, your flavours evolve. You just, you just keep moving along with, with what's going on. Uh, and you just get better and better at tasting beer. I so I reckon if I tasted that beer six years ago, seven years ago, I probably would have loved it, and I wouldn't have, wouldn't have known any different. But my palate just got to a level now where I've drank so much beer from around the world. I'm not a beer sommelier. I don't want to be a beer sommelier. Um, I've probably drunk more beer than the the, the person who invented the whole beer sommelier course. Um, more beer from around the world, so I don't want to, and I'm not knocking it, I'm not knocking the beer sommelier course, um, but I don't want that, that kind of lettering after my name. I'm not one of those people. Um, I, I've, dr I've drunk enough beer to know my beer, and, and that's how I work. So, rating for a double IPA, I'm really afraid to say this is a 5 out of 10. It's a 5 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.